quite sleek design. There's no picture whatsoever. There's just like kind of a gold, the main kind of a selling point of the phone, eight gigabyte and 128 gigabyte of storage. First impression, I do think the packaging is really nice. You can tell this is a very um, heavy duty phone because with 8,500 uh, milliamps hour, the battery taken most of the space in the phone and uh, it feels really heavy in the hand. So if you have small hands, it might be a bit chunky. And a phone like this, you won't need to have a case because the case is kind of built in because it's not one of the mainstream phone. So they already come with a screen protector. So you've got a SIM, SIM card tray on the side here. You've got a metal button on the side. On the back, you've got the company logo engraved in metal. You've got the four cameras here. Um, one of them, I think, is the infrared camera because it's kind of, you can't see the lens. So it comes with an extra screen protector. This is made of uh, plastic. There's already one um, kind of uh, installed onto the phone. You've got your information booklet, USB-C cable, power adapter, and this one is fast charge 3.0. So this one is the one that you can do 9 volt or 12 volt at 2A. So this will charge the phone a lot quicker. Um, I have switched on the phone, but before we go into the more specific, let's look at the aesthetic of the phone. So here's the phone as a close-up. You can see that it's made of uh, metal and plastic combined. Um, rubberized uh, case. So this kind of phone, you don't buy a case for it because it's already kind of uh, incorporated the case. The company logo is kind of uh, engraved, kind of a laser engraved into this metal piece here. Four cameras at the back, one of them I think is an infrared camera because you can't really see through the glass there. And then you have the other three cameras in, in the L shape. Four LEDs at the back as a selfie light, I think, or as a light. So you've got plastic casing mixed with metal on the side. In the front, you've got one camera in the front here, hiding on the top bar and the speaker on the top right here. Funny enough, this one doesn't need the needles or anything to, to operate. You just need your nail and pull this out. And this is your SIM card tray. And maybe a MIDI card as well. Yeah, TF card, so you can put a expand storage onto the phone. So here you got your USB-C port, which is covered by this plastic. I'm not really a big fan of this plastic thingy cover because they're quite a hassle if you need to charge it every time. Uh, I don't think this one has wireless charging, so uh, that will be a one downsize, one downside of this phone. But to be honest, if you add 250 quid, come on. Because it builds so rugged, I'm really tempted to, you know, chuck it around and do something that, to damage the phone. But I think from a day-to-day -day use, um, you shouldn't have any problem with dropping this phone as such. The only thing I will say a criticism for this phone is that the glass is higher than the side of the phone. So, you know, if it does drop, it can cut on the side. The only, the only place where um, the glass is below the case is on the top here and the top here. So if you do lay it on the table, there will be a gap between the glass and the table, but just that is only because there's a lip on top and the bottom. It would be so much better if the lip is all the way around the corner as well. But this one doesn't extend to the corner. So here and here, this edge, they are basically flat against the glass. So if you do drop it, sometimes like, you know, you don't necessarily have the protection that it deserves. Fingerprint sensor is here. At the moment, it's set up with my thumb because I pick up the phone like this. It would be nice if it is in the back here, but this is what it is. This is the design, right? So let's test it out. So you... That's it. I was going to say like, get ready, but then it started already. So let's try that again. So this is the fingerprint sensor. There we go. Try it one more time. So it works. So let's set up my uh, face ID. So you can either use your fingerprint or just look at it. Perfect. So if I don't look at it, it stay locked. And when I'm looking at it, it's unlocked. So yeah, so you got face unlock and your finger 
print button to do this, which is perfect. Um, day to day use like, you know, browsing and stuff like that perfectly fine. Let's test out some video stuff. So the speaker is at the rear here. So the more you play with it, the more function you will find that is actually available. So save energy, then you can use dark theme. I usually do that actually. I quite like uh, being a bit dark. Uh, notification LEDs. What else is here? Fingerprint, navigation bar, face ID. Notification, battery now is at 89%. Okay, one thing I want to test out for you guys is to see how long the battery will last while it is like gaming or playing stuff. So what I might what I might have to do is turn off the auto shutdown function and then let it run to a time lapse and see how long the battery will last. <laughs> I mean, the, the screen is not bad, but it's definitely not iPhone quality, but the viewing angle is very good though. But playing a game like this, I do see a bit of slowdown, whereas the racing game just now doesn't have that problem. So I'm not sure if it is the processor or if it's just the game, but this is not a gaming um, tablet. Oh, sorry, gaming phone. It will play, but it just... Not the same as a other like branded phone. It does feel like it's slowing down. But nevertheless, for 250 pounds, I think can't be too harsh on it, but it's kind of working quite well. I mean, I do have quite a few things running here. So if we just have a look, at, uh, for example, Facebook, it works. Ah, now this is the interesting part. So, um, remember the earlier I said there's an infrared camera? Yes, it does. And I think it works as well. For example, um, obviously the camera is right there, that, that kind of a dark patch. The other three, you can see the lens, but there's one which is just black. So that one is the infrared sensor. So you've got people, objects, and records. So people, obviously, it measure your body temperature. So it's measuring my skin, but if my skin is not there, it doesn't register. And when objects, that means that you can measure any temperature at all. I think it's just like, you know, how accurate it is. So the room is 26, which is about right because um, it is 26 in, uh, in, in my um, studio here. But if I put my skin in front of it, 29, 30. So it could be quite useful if you want to know how hot an object is. Apart from that, um, yeah, I think it is quite a competent phone. I'm going to test it a bit more. Find out what else can it do or what else it can't do. But so far, 
if you think checks out.